Hello, I hope to, that you are doing well. In this video, I'm going to simulate uh, conduction heat transfer inside a block, a 3D block. So the, the physics that we need to select is uh, heat transfer in solid. So I select the transfer in solid so and we wanted to in investigate the system in time dependent manner so time dependent would be selected as the uh, selected study the first step uh, for simulation is obviously drawing the geometry so i would uh, select the geometry that i'm going to simulate so i would like select a uh, lengths you need as centimeters so i would select like a block uh, with widths of 10 depths of 10 and at a height of uh, 5 it would be something like that and uh, for the material uh, in this example i'm going to use like a sweep material and i would say how uh, you can use uh, parametric sweep for your material and see how material sweep would affect your system. For example, if you wanted to investigate the effect of different materials with different properties like uh, copper, iron, or everything else, so you need to use this, uh, this feature of the of, uh, of console. So you need to select like a material switch and uh, you select like uh, for the selection of the material you select this one and i come to build in section uh, i select uh for this section you can either draw them and put them in the section of the material sweep or you can just uh, when you are uh, when you are adding them you can uh, select uh, add to material sweep rather than add into components since when materials are outside of the material sweep you are not able to uh, work with material sweep concept so they should be in this section. So now, as, as you can see, material sweeps are defined in this section in the right way. So I close this one and I define my boundary conditions. Uh, so I define like a constant temperature of 800 degrees C. this wall and i defined heat flux of free convection and this wall and the heat transfer coefficient convection heat transfer coefficient uh, is uh, 20 and the ambient temperature of 25 degree c would be considered for natural convection from this side for other walls, uh, we will consider the thermal isolation. So the heat transfer would be from the heat, uh, the heat part, heated part, with high to higher temperature to the lower temperature that is in contact with ambient temperature. So I defined, uh, I mesh the system based on physical control mesh. I then, I just defined the material. Uh, the time step that I need for the, the simulation. So I would uh, find like one seconds and it would be like for 20 seconds. But the thing is that we need to add material sweep here and we need to say that uh, which elements are need are required to be considered for, uh, for our study. So I would have like all materials that I have. So aluminium, copper and iron so i would click on compute uh, 
here you can just uh, follow the progress of your simulation. It's time and uh, uh, you can see that uh, the graph of conversion is the second material that we are simulating now. And we are switching to the third material. That's the time. It's the time. Okay, the simulation is done. So you can see the temperature profile with, uh, with in time of uh, in 20 seconds after the start of the, pro the simulation physically, so I would change the material and that, and I would see what is the effect of the selection of different types of materials on temperature distribution, as you can see. So you you can use this feature for designing different types of furnace and ovens that they are working for different purposes. Thank you so much for your uh, for your time.